Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up the iDo Smart Video Doorbell. So first you're going to go to your app store and you're going to go ahead and search up for the Genek app. We're going to go ahead and hit get and get that downloaded. It should download fairly quickly. So once you're in your app, you're going to register. If you already have an account, then obviously you just sign into that. But once you get registered, it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to allow notifications and allow Bluetooth to set this up. Then you go ahead and click Add Device. And then you're going to go to Smart Home. And that's where we're going to find our smart doorbell. You're going to go ahead and hit that. And you're going to make sure it's in pair mode, which means that this red light is blinking, as you can see. You're going to go ahead and hit Next Step, and then hit Next. Once it's in that pair mode, then here is a critical part. You're going to make sure, you want to make sure that you're connecting it to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. If it is a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, like I tried to do here, it's actually not going to be able to connect. So you're going to have to go ahead and change that. As you can see, once I changed it to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, we went ahead and typed in the password and it connected with no issue. Next you're going to take this QR code and you're going to want to scan it with the actual camera on the video doorbell. Once you get that scanned it should automatically connect. This is what's actually going to connect your phone to your doorbell. Then it's going to finish setting up the device. It's going to make the device able to access your Wi-Fi network. This should take between 30 seconds to a minute but obviously went ahead and sped this up. You're gonna get all three check marks eventually. And then you're just going to hit done to complete it. And then you should be able to go ahead and tap on your doorbell. You're gonna select which type of bell chime you have. If you have a mechanical chime like we had, you're gonna hit mechanical. If it's just electrical, you're gonna hit none. And then there you go. You should be able to see your video doorbell. That's it.